Now this is a follow-up to the video I did uh, called Predicting Gold using the techniques of WDGAN and uh, I did it in April of um, 2013 and what we're going to do now is look at uh, the next couple of signals that I gave and see uh, how well I did. Now to watch that video I'll put a link here so that um, you can watch the original one but just as a quick summary um, in the previous video Basically, what I showed you is that uh, I was looking for a short here, but uh, or maybe a bit higher, but it gapped through the level and therefore the signal wasn't given. Then I said that that might be a buying opportunity. Then I said that that might be a shorting opportunity. And then I said that that there might be a short. And as you can see, pretty much, apart from one, I've got it pretty much right. So um, what we're going to do now is uh, see what happens with my future signals. Now this is what the daily chart looked like when we did the last video and uh, I'll insert now um, the next signal that I gave. Now let's go to the tra with training video of the 8th for the 5th 2013 and as discussed in there um, this could be the top but I don't think it is I think we might get a rally to probably here I'm also watching here for a possible shorting opportunity as it stands at the moment I'm looking for a possible buying opportunity here uh, and also here but the buying opportunities will depend on silver getting to the level that I mentioned in that uh, training video. Now I said quite a few things in that signal. Um, the first thing I said was that um, now could be the top. In other words, I don't want to buy it. Um, but at the time, I thought the best the best level was probably here at fifteen sixty. But I was also watching this level here um, at fifteen forty. So in nowhere have I said there that I think the market's going to go up. Well, it's going to go up, but I don't want to buy it. I'm still bearish because I said I was looking for future buying opportunities at uh, 1280 uh, or 1200. But that signal was dependent on uh, silver getting to a particular level. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in what I was watching for on silver. So um, if silver was to get to its level and gold got to the level that's here, then I would do it. If silver got to its level and gold got to here, then it would be a signal. So I'll, put, I'll insert here the silver signal. Let's go with the training video of the 8th of the 5th. 2013 and in there I'm looking for a possible buying opportunity here um, and um, possible shorting levels maybe here and maybe here so this is what silver looked like to me at the time and the level that I was watching on silver which I've got to say looked to me pretty good at the time was uh, 2000 and uh, my gold levels were these two here well, as I already said one at 1280 and one at 1200 so let's look at silver first so I was only going to do the gold ones if silver got to this level and then show some strength now the market um, on silver didn't rally like it did on gold and then the market started to come down and then there was a massive fall which happened here on the 20th of May and it didn't quite get to my level so let's look at gold so this is what gold looked like so that happened to turn out to be the top and gold started to fall and uh, on this day here is the 20th of May so silver was almost at the level I was watching but gold for me wasn't given a reason to buy so silver wasn't at its level and neither was uh, gold so let's go back to silver 
Now what actually happened on silver, he had a massive fall in the day and then went up incredibly quickly. Um, but like I said, they didn't both coincide and I didn't get involved. And uh, the market then goes sideways and then it comes down and then it got to my level and it broke it by quite a bit. Uh, but this is where I was interested. Now that is on the uh, 20th of June. So let's look at gold. So gold was here so, and that was on the 20th of May. Now let's go forward. So I'm looking for this level here and this level here. And uh, the market starts to fall. And then there was a massive fall and that was the 20th of June. So they both got to the level that I was interested in buying at. Um, the problem was that silver had actually broken it by quite a bit and the next day it was quite a bit below it. And gold, if we go on for the next day, so you know I was watching it extremely carefully at this stage and then uh, the market went sideways, showed no strength and then collapsed through the level. But you can see that the level that I said it might show resistance at actually works and that's a good example of why it's so difficult making money. It's not about being right, because I was right, it stopped for four days. It's about how long you're right for and what kind of rise you would have off the level if you were buying of course. Um, and then silver, basically if we go forward, this one went through my level and uh, I was just not interested at this stage now for buying gold at this level and so my next major level was here. Now I actually modified the level that I was watching so um, uh, we'll, be, we'll introduce that one now. As discussed in the training video of the 26th of the 6th, 2013, I'm looking for possible buy on gold on this angle and this this resistance here. So when I modified the signal, this is what the uh, chart looked like, and. Uh, this was the level that I was watching with a lot of interest um, and obviously as time goes by you uh, modify things because uh, things become clear that weren't um, basically clear at the time and uh, what happens in the past has a relationship to what happens in the future so this level here that you can see um, was actually my original signal at 1200 for possible buying opportunity and uh, I modified it to this angle and roughly this, uh, this percentage down here um, so this was a really good level that I thought the market might turn at. Now one of the great um, great sayings in this industry is the trend is your friend and unfortunately I think it's one of the most stupid things I've ever heard in my entire life. The trend is your friend when you know what the trend is but obviously when you don't know what the trend is um, it's a bit more difficult. So for example you can see with hindsight that the trend is down. But if you looked at it here, did you know that the trend was down? Uh, the market collapses here, so you might decide to trade it here because the trend is your friend. And what happens? The market goes up to catch the people who chase the trend. You are never ever more, it's never ever more dangerous to trade something than when you trade with the trend. And you can see this, the obvious trend on this is blatantly obviously very very bearish so you would only consider with that statement the trend being your friend you'd only consider being a buy signal uh, sorry you'd only consider shorting this and uh, you can see over the last week or so here gold is collapsing like a stone so again you would only consider shorting it now again that's great if you're only going to be in the trade for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours or something but uh, the secret to making money is to make big profits and small losses if you can't make big profits and small losses then you're just wasting your time now as you can see here the trend is very much down and I'm looking for buying opportunity massively against the trend here. So let's see what happens. The market comes down, 
we're getting close to the level so we got to the first level that I talked about a long time before it ever got there but I said it thought it was going to go a bit lower and uh, the market got to here and it didn't quite get there which of course is always very very annoying but with hindsight you're just going to say well you know I know it uh, didn't get there and I would have done it anyway but if you can only see it going up for one day how do you know it's not going to come back down for a couple of days and get to the level or it's going to go straight up it's a bit like um, going to a meeting you can walk to where the meeting is being held the door is closed you can be right at the door the door is still closed have you actually got to the meeting even though you're incredibly close and the answer is no you haven't if you open the door then you've got there and it's the same with this this is where I'm looking for a major change in trend I'm not looking to short the market I'm looking to buy the level this is my buying level for gold predicted a long long time before the market ever got there let's see what happens the market goes up then it comes down and it didn't quite get to my level so I didn't quite do it but as I said before I was looking for a major buying opportunity at this level and then since then I've put some more signals about possible shorting levels in the future but as it stands at the moment you can see that if you would have used the premises the trend is your friend uh, you would now probably be losing quite a bit of money if you would have stayed in the trade of course so um, Hopefully you found that interesting, and I'll probably update it in the future. But um, all that was done without the benefit of hindsight. I'm pretty sure that there's no one else who's put any videos on, on YouTube which uh, prove that I've not used hindsight. What you tend to get is lots of people showing you why things have happened after the event. That's by far the easiest thing you can do. Anybody can do this with hindsight but uh, it's a little bit more difficult when you haven't got it so hopefully you'll agree pretty amazing again we hold some free webinars um, if you would like to attend uh, then uh, you can uh, go to our website at www.gan.co.uk if I think on I'll put a link here which will take you to the uh, registration page so thank you for the time of uh, listening